It's not surprising that many early photographers chose war as their subject. Humans have always been fascinated with it, as they have with all extreme life and death situations. But we rarely get a chance to see it, and for good reason. Getting too close to combat can get you killed. So before photography, you really had no choice but to imagine what war looked like using your mind's eye. But even after the invention of the mechanical eye, the imagination still played a key role. Look at this photo taken by Roger Fenton in April 1855 during the Crimean War. Fenton took a lot of photos of the war, but none of them are very warlike by our standards. We don't see any bodies or destroyed fortifications or burning ships. This picture, his most famous, is no exception. It's called the Valley of the Shadow of Death. It has a valley and it has some shadows, but no death. What it does show, and what Fenton wants us to see, is the aftermath of a sustained and apparently completely ineffective Russian artillery barrage. Why Fenton wanted to show his Victorian audience this is not really clear. Is the spent shot littering the ground meant as a kind of abstract memento mori? Maybe. Is it intended to show the intensity of the battle? Perhaps. Or was Fenton suggesting that the Russian gunners were just bad shots? Who knows? What is clear is that Fenton is holding out on us. That is, he really isn't showing us what might be called the military money shots. No guts, no glory, just spent cannon shells. He saw all these things, but he didn't take pictures of them. So if we are to see them in his photographs, we'll have to use our mind's eye, just as people did in the age before mechanical image making. Photography is very explicit, but it still requires that we use our imaginations to grasp the meanings depicted.